Hello and welcome, this is Rafi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer a WordPress website from one domain to another. So we're going to transfer this website from this domain to this domain, which we have purchased on Namecheap. So let's learn the process now. Okay, so it's time to start the process. Let's click on File Manager. It is going to take us to the file manager for the old website. Let's click on public underscore HTML, select WP hyphen content, right click, and you're gonna find this download option. Click on this and then select zip. Select the folder on your computer and click on save. It is going to be downloaded. Another file that I'd love to download is wpconfig.php from this page in case if we need this letter. So let's click on download and click on save all right now we are done with downloading files now it's time to download the database of this website so i'm going to take you to wordpress overview wordpress overview and then you will find this database file information if i click here it is going to take us to php my admin page for this database and we're going to find all the tables right here 112 tables let's select them all by clicking here then we're going to click on export and we're going to click on export again and save it to our folder and here we go we are done with taking backups if i want to show you the files that we have just downloaded make sure we are you are downloading all the files all right so the sql file wp content file and then wp config.php file we are done with them now it's time to connect the domain name with our hosting account so here is the domain name let me take you to websites option on our hostinger page then let's start creating a new website click on create or migrate a website skip these things i'm gonna select create a new website then skip these options and then use an existing domain I'm gonna paste the domain name right here. So let's go here. I'm gonna click on manage. Let's copy the domain name from this page. Go back to our hosting account and paste it right here. Click on continue. It is going to find the name servers information. As you can see, these are the name servers from Namecheap, but we have to point them into these name servers. From Hostinger. So let's go back here on this page. We're gonna select this name servers option, click here, then custom DNS, and you have to point the name servers right here on this field. So let's go back, copy the first name server. Let's go back to our domain control panel, paste it right here, go back to our Hostinger page, copy the second one, copy and paste it right here on the second field. It's time to click on this right check mark and we are done it might going to take around 48 hours to get the domain name propagated but it doesn't take that long within few few minutes it actually start working so let's click on continue and let's click on manage site and here we go it is showing us that the domain name is not pointed yet so give it a few minutes it is going to work perfectly fine and while it is working, I'd love to install WordPress on the domain name. So I'm going to click on auto installer and choose WordPress. After that, we're going to provide the website credentials. Let's put the website title. So I'm going to put in email right here and choose an username and provide a password. Let's click on advanced and i'm gonna put a password for this database as well now let's click on next in this page we have got all set properly so i'm gonna click on install and within like few seconds it is going to install a new wordpress on our website on the new domain name and after that we're going to upload the database then we're going to upload the files on the respective fields and it is going to transfer the website for us so here you go oh i'm seeing that forced http here that means we have got ssl certificate installed this is why i have got this forced https that means the domain name is currently connected
let's go to wp admin panel and it should take us to our wordpress backend and here you go now if i visit this website you can see a new wordpress installation has been done under the new domain name so i'm gonna cross this out and i'm gonna take you to hostinger and now it's time to change our database so i'm gonna take you to database option here so if i click here again it is going to take us to php my admin page we're gonna drop all of these tables so let's check them all and select drop from here and then it is going to show you this click on yes all right so we have removed everything from the database now it's time to upload the database click on import and we're gonna click on choose file and we're going to choose the database that we have downloaded previously click on open and scroll through the bottom of this page let's click on import it has started uploading the files here we go the import has been successful now we can change the site urls from wp options and you can see 112 tables that means we have uploaded all the files here so it's time to find the wp options so let's see if i can find it right here no i can make a search here let's see no no problem we can get this from the right side under the table section let's see if we can find the wp option which is really important we have to change the site urls and the home page urls so if i click here on wp options we're going to find the options the first one is site url and the second one is home so we have to click here on the edit option then i'm going to take you here copy the domain name from here the new one so let's copy this one go back to the database option paste it right here scroll and on the right side you're going to find this go option and it is saved now let's click here for the home option so let's click here we're going to change the url as well and let me click on go so we are basically done with updating the database information it's time to update our file manager so let me take you to files then file manager for this website click on access files for this domain and public html then we're going to remove the wp content from here which comes with the new wordpress installation it's time to upload the one that we downloaded earlier from the old website which is this one so let's go back we're going to upload it here let's click on file then wp content open and it is going to start uploading the files and depending on the size of your website data it is going to take the time if it is a large website data or large file it is going to take longer time but if you have got a small website it is going to take less time so as you can see the progress bar here it is just started working so let's wait while it is completing the uploading process we are almost there so let's just wait while it is um, uploading the file and here you go the upload process has been completed and here is the zip file it's time to extract the files from this zip file so let's select the file click on extract and then we have to give the file name or the folder name as wp hyphen content and click on extract it is going to be extracted right here under this public html for this website and here we go we have got all the data let's go back and we can remove this zip file so let's click on delete click on delete and we are done so now if i take you here and if i try to sign into this website let me put the username and password let's click on login okay so we have to visit here and provide our username and password again so let's do this and solve the math 
click on login it should take me to the wordpress dashboard of our new website and here we go we have to update the wordpress database let's click on here then click on continue now it should redirect to the dashboard of the new wordpress website here we go we have got all the data from the previous ones if i visit this website just take a look our old website is loading under this new domain name so we are basically done with the process so this is the process how we can migrate a website from an old domain to a new domain on hostinger i believe you have found this video helpful if you have got any question or if you are having any issues with migrating your website you can let me know by commenting below visit my website to get help so thank you so much for watching this video have a good day bye bye